Two days ago it was summertime. Now we got six and a half inches of snow and it's negative one degrees Celsius. I'm headed back over to 10 tents, had a really busy day with GK Tech and still working on my other house. But we got some of the parts in the mail, so we're going to go check up and see what Scotty Don't has been up to. Sick. Had to overnight parts from Utah. A.K.A. MDM. Mormon Domestic Market. Brandon Wicknick coming in clutch with the uh, tow hitch from Drift Week 1. Slightly rusted, no big deal. He loves pines apparently. Sick, thanks Brandon. Again, Brian DeWitt from Car Crafters coming in with the big W, welding that 90 on there. We couldn't use the silicone because the silicone piece would have been up against the header. So the 90 is now welded on. We've got a couple, coupler, coupled coupler. Another old sponsor of mine, Turbo Smart. Sick. Still running Hypergate. Same one I ran in Formula D. So that's cool. Got my buddy Jeff came over with the spacers to make this fuel rail from Radium work. So they're the OEM 2JZ spacers. Got the fittings on the end, the fuel rail's all in, the injectors are clipped and moving around 100% less than the, the last ones were, so that's satisfying and or nice. Fuel pressure, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The fuel pressure regulator slash damper has the fuel pressure sensor in there now. All the lines are hooked up to that and it's sitting pretty. Progress, my friends, progress. In sticking with how good I am at everything. I need to get a silencer for this exhaust. So I measured it up and it's not quite 70 millimeters. So it's not three inch exhaust. So I got this, which is absolutely hot dog in a hallway. It was uh, like $6 shipped on Amazon. It's for a motorcycle and it absolutely is not going to work. Sick! So we have this super custom water neck, which is present, presenting, which is preventing said timing belt cover from going on. So now we're gonna have to make some modifications to it. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. May have been a little overzealous in my initial estimations here. It's a, a big hole for a small thing, but you know, it's in there and that's what's important. Our timing cover mod was successful. Bolted in and now there's less chance of a rock bouncing up and destroying things. That sucker without having the plate behind there. So right now it just seems like it's hitting on everything. That's cool. Hashtag Jay-Z. And we're far from done, but just to make the engine bay look a little bit better and to get those small victories I talked about earlier, I'm gonna throw the intake back on just for shits and gigs. Literally no other reason than that. <coughs> I still wish that was flesh colored. <laughs> still can make it happen. We can make it happen. Get crotch cam. <laughs> Since we're talking about the flesh pipe. Look how blue that is. It doesn't match anything else on the entire car. <laughs> Whatever. And that's it for this evening. How to make a rubber gasket that's not made of electrical tape. Take one silicone coupler, cut that sucker in half, 
Uh, so should be right there, depending on how much time they lose in traffic. I think Andy Lawrence with the head of the field is having left after the late Jose Marcelo, who drove. You find something that's about the diameter. Much more better. Quick update, it's the 29th. We leave on the 3rd. Um, got the turbo on. We're doing a bunch of little things, catch cans. We had to order some parts for the fuel system. We had to order a new harmonic balancer because this one's super haggard and the last thing I want is that to come apart. Uh, we're gonna be moving the alternator over to the other side. We got an underdrive pulley for the power steering pump. So yeah, Scotty's doing all the plumbing for the catch can system now. Just did the gasket on that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Coming down to the wire. So another thing Scotty's doing is replacing all of the worm gear stuff. Well, they use oh. the right size. But that's really good. Um, with better quality T-bolt clamps for everything, so. Not even better quality, just fucking fitting. <laughs> yeah, ones that actually fit. <laughs> Who the hell built this car? <laughs> In an effort to reduce us having to do maintenance if we toss the belt or if something shreds and we have to get to it, right now, you can't get the belt off without having to drain and refill the radiator. So we have installed a Subaru pulley here and we're gonna try to relocate the alternator to this side. So we don't have to mess with this if something happens to the belt. Sick. Got Scotty up front mobbing on motor things. Around this way. Yeah. Got them boys working on fuel cell shits. And I'm uh, putting in belts for this here seat. So you may be asking yourself, how is this car going to be sponsored by GK Tech? GK Tech doesn't make Toyota parts. Well, technically we do. That's right. GK Tech will be my official lug nut sponsor of this trip. <laughs> Hashtag sponsored. That's also correct. I went with the ever stylish neochrome Johnnies instead of these. So I, I would lose that immediately. So we're just gonna get rid of that and uh, toss on these Neochrome Hot Boys. Love it. Also working on getting the power steering cooler in there. Got a little guy. Hopefully that helps a little bit combined with the underdrive pulley. Like I said before, Brandon Wicknick loves pines. He loves those pines. <laughs> oh, Brandon, I'm telling your bishop, buddy. I hope you know that. I got him on speed dial now. You're, you're in big trouble, Buster. Time to throw this thing up there. All sick like. This bumper that I was not a huge fan of anyway is gonna get cut here, cut here, and cut here because we can't get the tow hitch up where it needs to be. We may even have to trim this spot, but we'll see. It's all about that tow life, baby. Destroying things that were nice.
Upon further inspection, we need to cut more. Got those two in. Marked this side with the paint marker. Got the four holes that we need to drill. Marked. So she's all back installed. We even put the covers back on, the heat shield. Everything on this side is good. Now we just need to wire the taillights in, get the harness popped down. Working on old flipper over there. Had to touch it up, do a little bit of welding, hide some wires, put a new spare tire on it. But yeah, that's the trailer I flipped in the, the first drift week. We're gonna give it another try and hopefully not do that. That'd be uh, That'd be great if I didn't do that. But I like to keep things exciting, so off we go. Still got June's sticker. Got some bigger, better wheels with the bigger, better hubs, bigger, better axle. Um, had to weld on a new lock because that absolutely would not stay down. That broke during the crash. Spare tire broke during the crash. Got a new tongue welded on and duct taped up the wires. Oh, man, I'm supposed to leave Tuesday and it doesn't have a crank pulley on it at the moment. We still need to do a bunch of wiring for the flex fuel sensor and get the fuel tank actually hooked up and mounted. Oh boy. Update on the sitch. Alternator is over yonder and pulley is in. Ish. Crank damper is in ish. ish. And yeah, so now we just got to get everything lined up and find a belt that's actually going to fit. So this is a 10% overdrive crank damper. This is a 15% underdrive. So we're 5% underdriven. And this is a dash 10 hose. And that's a dash 10 hose. So there used to be a huge kink in the hose that was here. I'll show you the kinky boy. Which is a, a big reason as to why the power steering wasn't working sometimes is because, whoa. Because that was in there like that. And so it was just squeezing by. Hashtag fixed it. Look at that. The anti-kink. The gimp is pissed. It is Halloween, the 31st of October. And we've gotten quite a bit done in a very short period of time today. Power steering system should be dialed. Of course, we don't know how the belt alignment is until we start the car. Could shred a rib and be happy. We don't know, but at least we know the belt size we need to get so we can bring spares just in case. Got a spare power steering pump. I got all the padding in for the harness bar. We got the seatbelt bolts that were missing. I know that this is a shitty video of that. But anyway, it was missing this bolt here, which basically is what holds the whole seatbelt mechanism on. So in the event of an accident, the whole thing would have just buckled and folded. So thanks to Casey for going out to the junkyard and wrecking his car. He got into a car accident. What a bummer. Um, but thanks, Casey, for doing that. The radium tank just needs a couple of brackets to be made and to be attached. Then we're going to run two more brackets up here and up there. This thing should be good to go. Uh, Manny is coming over with the wrap tomorrow. And we're hoping to do some testing on Monday. So yeah, happy Halloween, everybody even though it's not gonna be a very happy one because everything is closed. Sick. Ninja Manny and Ernie got all the, well, actually probably mostly Manny got all the vinyl cut for this bad unit. Scotty's finishing some stuff up. Got all the sponsor logos done. 
<sighs> so much to do still.